Why, why is the camera out? Uh, I've got a question for you. Okay. What would you say that the best driver is that, that's came out over the last few years? <sighs> Blinking, eh? It's a bit of a question, isn't it? Uh, I'll, 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 I'll have to have a think. I'll come back to you. Right, after uh, what was a bit of a dilemma, I did think about it for a while, but over the last two years, I definitely think there's one driver that has stood out a mile for me, and it'd be a bit of a surprise, but the thing that I've learned is that A, the brand don't even make it anymore, which shocked me, and two, if you want to buy one of these second hand on eBay, they're like gold dust, and they cost more than what they did when they originally came out. So, I'm not going to tell you what it is. You can have a glimpse of the shaft, but that's all you're getting. And for the rest of it, it's kept hidden under that head cover for the time being. Let's go and test it and see if... I haven't hit it for a while, and let's see if I still believe that this is the best driver in the last couple of years, and they don't make it anymore. You know what, the biggest shock I've got, like I said, just doing a little bit of research, is that thing I mentioned about the fact that... i better just hold that open for our uh, camera lady. Um, this business that they don't sell this driver anymore and I can't understand it because when it was brought out originally it was a massive success I know pretty much everybody that tried this driver I think liked it so the idea that it's not in uh, the sort of the not manufactured anymore I don't get that I don't understand that one at all anyway are you ready for the big reveal well, the first major clue in this reveal is the length of the shaft itself because believe it or not this driver came as standard with a shaft that is probably two inches shorter than normal what we'd expect in most drivers nowadays and the other big difference was the size of the head again what i've got in my hand is a mizuno stz is it yeah 460 cc driver head that's pretty much the standard and the norm and what's in this right hand is something completely different and would you believe only 275 cc in terms of the size of its head i think that's probably the major giveaway and you've probably got it by now so i think we can uh, stop dragging this on too much longer and tell you what this driver is yeah like i said i think you've probably got it from the last clue it is a tailor-made mini driver and there's a couple of things that again still i can't get my head around and uh, that bit that they don't manufacture it is the the biggest one uh, but it was a really first of all good looking driver it was that smaller more compact profile at 275 cc but if you look at it from the top line i really like i've always been a fan of this kind of checkered flag look uh, but very much a matte finish on top of the tailor-made drivers and it looks great but then the uh, the front line which again we've seen normally sort of white and gray over the sort of sim drivers they put this black gloss finish again and for me i sound i love it from the top frames the ball really nice and from someone who's kind of who uh, was brought up on a sm smaller driver head that was another reason i was a big fan of it underneath they didn't do uh, i didn't really put too much effort into the underneath and they call it the original one and i think again it sort of harks back to the kind of that original driver so um shelf appeal not that great from underneath but where you see the important bit that top line above looks fantastic and for me 13 and a half degrees is where this is set up as standard but again it was an adjustable driver so you got plenty of versatility in terms of the way you wanted to set it up uh, for how it would work best in your bag but then I also think there's a lot more versatility in how you could play this when it is in the bag either from the tee or off the deck and we'll show that or at least try to show that by using trackman and getting some data so that's me up off this chair hit some balls and uh, further back up why i think this is such a great club particularly for average golfers just a quick interruption this is later on in the day because uh, when i said it was expensive i didn't realize quite how expensive we checked out on ebay found two buy it now options one at 400 quid one at 564 pound to buy a 2019 driver this has got to be the hottest driver on eBay right now. Right, the first thing I'm going to do is put a tee in that is, uh, well, it's not the maximum tee height that we'd use for driver. That's the kind of thing I'd be looking to set up for. The first thing I'm going to do is show what I would use or how I would use this driver if I was going all out full tilt. Distance was what I was looking for. That's the kind of tee height I was use. We've already got 13 and a half degrees worth of loft on it. I wouldn't look to tee it any higher than that. I'll hit some balls with that tee height but then I'm going to change it to a much lower T and show again why I think it's versatile. So let's get one loaded up. We might as well carry on recording, Han. And um, we'll get, we've got Trackman set up. I just need a glove. Someone's just been shot again outside. 
Steve's a bit uh, strict in terms of the rules around here, so that's another staff member gone. Right, so, my, if I'm trying to hit a, a, a distance ball, I try and hit a bit of a draw. That's my kind of shot, so it's, uh, it, it's teared up high. I'm going to uh, give it a fair old, uh, we've had a bit of a warm up, we've collected data already. Let's just see if we can do this with the camera on, which is, uh, is the hard part. And that's an absolute shot and a half. Seriously. You won't pick up, I don't think you'll pick much up in terms of audio, but I think it's a great sounding club. Again, I think it's um, the, the height in terms of where that ball has gone out to. I'll, uh, I can pretty much see from the screen behind you that it's done particularly well in terms of where it's finished. That's buttoned down the fairway. But that's it. Distance wise, again, just look where it's gone to. It's kind of, I haven't found that if I sort of get hold of this, and that was as good as I've got, I'll be honest with you, they won't get any better than that. Um, my data, which we'll look at later, is kind of a sort of 230 to 240 carry with a 275cc head, Diamana 65 stiff shaft in it, and a 30 and a half degree head. But it's the big deal about, I can get 230 to 240. Compare that to my ultimate numbers with any driver, maybe 245. So we're losing what, 10, 15 yards in terms of average carry. But what I found is I'm able to find the fairway a little bit more. I always say this idea about dispersion, it's very much the swing that you put on it is what all dispersion is about in my opinion. But I do think a little bit more control with that shorter shaft, but it's then the ability to do this, which is the bit that interests me. So I'm gonna disappear again, Han. I don't know whether you wanna or can come with us. Um, and I'm gonna swap this out for what is a very sort of, um, short tee, I'd almost describe it as what I'd tee up, perhaps a three wood. And from there, I'm gonna look at hitting the type of shot that I think is the sort of, um, the fallback shot, the, uh, the something you're really comfortable with. That shot I've just hit, although it worked incredibly well just then, I can't believe how well it just did go. For me, if I'm looking for a fairway finder, it would probably be sort of take a little bit off, slower swinging with this, tee it up a little bit lower, and it's a slight sort of cut on the ball. And I think, again, it gives me the kind of control and versatility to have the confidence to at least try and do that. Let's give that a bit of a go. I've just pulled that one just a little bit down the left. That one hasn't quite gone according to plan. Bear with me, we'll have another little go at that. and. Uh, what I said about dispersion just rang true. Wasn't the greatest to swings, tried to switch from what I did, a big draw into a fade. And I'm just not, uh, I wasn't able to quite do that. That's dispersion for you, no matter what club you've got in your hand. Right, let's give it another go. That's better. That's not a lot of cutting that to be fair, pretty straight. And again, it's a fairway finder. Yeah, lose a bit of yardage on there, but you can see the ball flight really high and the third and final, and I hope your arms aren't falling off and we're going to try and keep this running because we're going to try and hit the third and final shot, which is quite simply, you won't have to bend down this time because we're just going to drag a ball and play it off the mat. And this is again the, the other reason why. I said, the question was that Hannah posed at the beginning of this video is, what is the best driver uh, over the last few years in my opinion? And in some ways it may be a little bit of an odd choice because it's not because this is the best driver and a driver it's always just looked at being the, the club that you hit off the tee and therefore it's the longest club in the bag and that's its probably sole and singular use and I think the reason I think this is the best driver in the past few years is because of its versatility. I've just said you can hit the long shot if you want, you can tee it down a little bit trying it a bit of a cut or you can certainly take a bit off it whichever you're comfortable with doing. It launches the ball incredibly high and um, this idea of forgiving, I would suggest from what I've seen, it's uh, I'm hitting all over the club face and we're getting away with stuff. But then the final shot, and I did this back on the fairways when we did the original review, is this idea that you can clip it off a tight lie on a fairway and almost play it with 13 and a half degrees of loft. It's almost like a strongly lofted three wood. I'll concentrate for a second or two. You see the ball flight change, a really decent strike again there. Yeah, you can, you can all see the kind of, again, the change in the ball flight. So yes, it's lower, but I can't believe that I would never attempt or very rarely attempt to hit driver off the deck and expect much of a result. 
And what happens with the mini driver is you've just got that extra bit of loft, that smaller head. And like I said, I found it really simple and easy to pick that ball off the fairway and hit that sort of low bullet, which you're not going to use it all the time, but it's great to have that versatility uh, that a club very rarely offers and certainly not in a driver. In many ways, that's a review done, but what I'll not review, it was, a, it was an answer to a question, but what I'll just finish off with is just a quick look at some of the data we collected that backs up that kind of shot options, and you can see it in a bit of numbers. Right, we will keep this very much short and sweet because it's very much a brief overview. I think I've collected data on 12 shots I'm just glancing over at now, and there is just a, very much a different split between, like I said, the, the, the way in which you'd play the shot and how you'd use the club, and I collected all data together. And we can see is really the difference between uh, kind of that cut shot that I referred to, which is uh, just pops it up a little bit higher. It's a little bit softer. It's a little bit easier in terms of my swing. You'll see in terms of club head speed as well. And then compare that to the longer distances are often where you'll see that club head speed rise up a little bit. Um, but either way, I mean, right across the board, I think it was an average of 222 carry. The longest ball out there I can see at the minute is what, 234, 236 carry. Peak height of 96 on that, um, spinning at 2.6. It's just, it's a really, really versatile club. I'll go back to the beginning of the question, uh, whether or not it's the best driver over the last two years, ultimately all out driver, maybe not. But as, um, as a best kind of like, value for money is the wrong, the wrong thing, but for a driver to put in your bag that you can do so many different things with in terms of playability, that's a rarity in my opinion, and it's clearly still very much sought after, as you can see from this price on eBay right now. Right, that's me done. As ever, um, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you soon.